Hi there, this is Amanda here from the Social Media Cafe and today's top tip is how to turn a negative into a positive. So I've been really hyped up about Business 2012 and for months I've been trying to get people to go to it. Loads of workshops, loads of exhibitors, or some exhibitors, um, shed loads of seminars and headed up by Sir Richard Branson, hero of mine, absolutely uh, who can knock at what he's achieved and obviously there's been failures and other stuff as well so a real person. Um, Sherry Blair and Lord Sugar, not really my cup of tea, but hey, you know what, they're still respected, they're in their own worlds of um, business, done a lot, worked with high profile people, done some crank cracking stuff. So seriously up for this. In fact, so much so, I spent my time this morning thinking, what the heck am I going to wear? How am I going to stand out from all the crowd at this huge exhibition? And went in silver hot pants and my nice little WTF t-shirt and the social media cafe, uh, black logo, whatever. Oh, and the knee-high boots, obviously, as one does. And got there, parked, couldn't find the place. It's all in the blog anyway, which is what I do um, when I want to talk about something. Um, all 800 words or so of it. But look at the title. Why the law of Sir Richard Branson couldn't keep me at Biz 2012. Gutted. Completely and utterly. So what have I done about it? I haven't sat there and got upset. Yes, I've tweeted it. Yes, I've done a few negative type things online. But you know what? There's been nearly 450 views on that blog. I have put some positive stuff in there. And I've also got the hashtag up. So what I'm doing is all of these people are either agreeing or disagreeing. Actually, there hasn't been anybody who's disagreed with me. Um, but what I've actually done is I've listened to the hashtag and I've created a quick search, which is just up here. So I searched for the hashtag and I've kept it. I'm now at home um, in the warm because it's absolutely freezing there. And all of these people that are making comments about things that I've been talking about or who have very, very kindly retweeted my stuff, I'm following. And I've been having conversations with them and doing all sorts of other stuff. So how cool is that? Now, it's a real, real shame that something that size has not been brilliant. And I'm sure the organisers are taking on board all of the things that went on and the things that people have been saying. But, you know, it's been very interesting. So all of these wonderful people who've been mentioning me and chatting to me and joined in and done all sorts of other stuff have been a real buzz. And thank you very much to Rachel um, for calling me a heroine. Um, Yes, I told the truth, I always do, but I'd rather go and do that and say, you know, what I really think so that everybody can learn and we can all do stuff. So, it's real cool, it's really interesting. Yes, it wasn't the best show in the world, but you know what? Lots and lots of people online and I've been interacting and connecting with them and listen to them and retweeted some of them and joined in a conversation because after all it's all about having a conversation online so off you go if something's really rubbish talk about it and see what happens and then join in with everybody else that's around you and put it right don't just sit on your bum and get upset and whinge and whatever go and do something cool and that's my tip for today take care Speak to you on fb.com forward slash the social media cafe.